Alright, what's up people? Hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today, I got the ultimate <laughs> episode for y'all. So I was actually about to make a Karen video and I decided, you know, I do have a lot of Karen videos. So f*** it, I'm gonna just mash them up. I felt like it was appropriate for a celebration of the series. And for those who haven't seen all the Karen clips that I've reacted to, they're all gonna be on here. So get your popcorn, get comfy. Wanna give a big shout out to Akira WYD for being a part of the squad. And if you wanna get shouted out here on the channel, I got a link in the description for y'all. Enjoy watching Karens for 45 minutes, motherfucker. Don't you tell me what to do. I'll tell you what to do. I think it's disgusting that you're working at this time on a Sunday. Have you got nothing better to do? All right, first off, just by the first sentence coming out of this lady's mouth, I'm gonna just already say she's stupid. How are you gonna tell somebody that's working and making money to do something better with their time? Lady, you are out here in the streets of Britain complaining about a worker. Why, why, don't, why don't you spend your time more wisely looking like Gollum? Straight out of The Hobbit with your ass. We are permitted to start work from 8 a.m. on a weekend. We've got a crack on, or we're gonna get in the neck from the bus. Now, fair enough, we started a bit early, but you know, I don't see what the problem is. My son is a lawyer. We don't care. We do not care. I'm sorry, lady, but like, holy shit, what are you stupid? You know, a common reoccurring element in these Karens that we take a look at is entitlement. They always think their opinion matters or, you know, what they're saying matters when it doesn't. I ain't never seen a single Karen interaction where she's actually like made a good point. You know what I'm saying? Like they're never making good points. They're just kind of like mad at the world. And in this situation, it's the same shit. You know, they're, she's mad at workers, bro, on the roof. Like that is normal shit that you see every day. And you're sitting here talking about it's too loud. Like, lady, go back inside. Put some headphones on. I don't know. You're probably rich enough to have it. My boys are out here getting paid, and you are interrupting that process, Karen. Let the boys get paid. And this is breaking <laughs> noise pollution laws. All right, y'all. I'm sorry for stopping it so much, but, like, it's broad daylight as, as on a Sunday. And they're just working, bro. They're, they're, I don't think they're breaking shit, lady. Can you get mad at, like, workers that are working on a roof for being too loud? especially if it's like broad daylight outside i just i can't see that playing out well i bet she's gonna call the cops let's just watch and see probably gonna complain to a cop about how she can't sleep or something probably something stupid like that you already know it's gonna happen and i'll have you know there's a family across the road with a newborn and all this racket is bound to make give them a load of stress well if we're causing them stress they can tell me if we're causing you stress I don't mind starting a bit later. We can ask the client if he's happy with it. That's fine. Oof, good response from my boy. He knows how to handle the Karen. You can tell. He's like, oh, no, I'm not I'm not bowing down to this bullshit, but I'm also going to be respectful. I mean, to be honest, if I was there, I would not. I would not be respectful to that Karen, bro. Fuck you. Get out of the place I'm working on. I don't like you. You look like Gollum. I swear to God, this lady kind of looks like an NPC. She's giving me NPC vibe. Is your client the woman who lives here? Yeah. Right, I'll speak to her then. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, bro? Like, why does she say it like that? This lady looks like she's part of the cast in like some 1700s film, bro. Hold on, let's look at the comments more. She genuinely sounds like she's just rehearsed a primary school play, actions and everything. Why does she sound like a script reading from a terrible community play? I'm saying, dude. Let's get this girl on Broadway. <laughs> It's not necessary to bang that hard, is it? Yeah. Look, I'll bang on this door as hard as I want. What? Don't you tell me what to do. Bro, I... nah. You ain't talking to my man like that. All right, we've officially gone code red, code red Karen in, in progress. You, know, you always hate to see these types of Karens. The one that just do not know how to communicate. The ones that don't know how to reason or even just live with reason in their lives. They just don't even want that. They want to do whatever they want. They want to complain about whatever they want, even though they know that 99% uh, of the time it's not going to work. Only 1% of the time will it work. And that's if you're lucky, Karen. Now, if she hit me with that, I would have been jumping off the roof. I probably would have landed on her ass. I would have RKO'd her. Let me catch somebody playing with me while I'm doing some roof job. I wonder if the boss of the company would have just been like, yo, yeah, nah, you can straight up just jump on this Karen. I wouldn't even doubt it. I bet they have like a zero Karen tolerance policy or some shit. Damn. She's, she's proper crackers, uh. oh, She's going, proper crackers, yeah, mate. That's some pretty shit. Job. Uh, excuse me. Oh. What did you say? Oh. So I'm a colleague to crack on with the job. Uh, I don't 
think so. <laughs> you. Bro, I cannot get over her voice, bro. She straight up sounds like she needs to be a voice actor or some shit. Straight up sounds like an NPC out of Skyrim. I don't think so. Like, girl. You focused on the wrong things in life. You focused on annoying a bunch of workers instead of getting your goddamn voice acting degree or whatever. Make any more noise? And I'm calling the police. She's trying to call the police on people who are doing their job on, on a roof of a house. Like, like, tell me how this is making any sort of sense. Like, what logic are you going to use with the police? Are you going to say, like, oh, they're pissing me off? Like, what, what can you possibly say to them? They ain't going to fuck around with you like that. Shit, they might even arrest the lady for wasting their time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's how kind of cops work. I mean, maybe not all of them, but I can totally see a cop getting pissed off at, like, some lady calling them. And Wasting their time on something that's not a big deal. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's fine. We've got a license, so we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll work with it. We'll tell them that we're allowed to. Did you give these men permission to start work here at this time on a Sunday morning? That's you're absolutely disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Working at this time of the morning on a Sunday. You know, I would even say that this lady sort of sounds like a man based on what I'm hearing out of this video. You know, I want to keep it relatively respectful, but I got to be honest with my thoughts. You know, she's starting to sound like a man. Okay, and honestly, you know, one thing I'm trying to figure out right here is what's the problem with working? Like, I'm really just still trying to figure out what her deal is and why she wants them to stop. But, but you know, that's the thing with Karens. They just get mad for no reason. Uh, we'll never figure out the reasons why. I guess it's a, it's a mystery among the world. Why do Karens get mad? The world may never know, truly. <laughs> She's up there now. Jesus Christ. Fine. Look, we'll just crack on. Yeah, just get back to work, her. boys. Yeah, get back her. to work. Mate, she's doing one with the ladders. Mate, what? she's doing one with the ladders. Wait, what? She's off, look. She's oh! Oh, my God. She oh, there she goes. <laughs> she's off, look. Bro, she's. Why is she walking like a fucking cartoon character? She's done one. I don't, mate. I'm not jumping down now. It's, it's well far. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get down. Is, mate, she's that just. That is ridiculous. She's just off, look. What's going on? What are we gonna do? Can't even do it. You know, that's another thing about British people, bro. Like, that Karen was kind of nasty, but these dudes are always so nice, bro. Like, these dudes are over here like, up, up, what shall we do then? What's happening here? If that was me and my American brother, I would have been like, dog, we're after her. We're jumping off. I don't care. Shut the client. Why have you took our ladders? I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. It's not how it's gonna work. You just give us the ladders back, or we'll just call the police. I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. <laughs> bro, this this Karen's so incompetent, bro. She's just not understanding their point at all. She just wants it to be her way, you can tell. Oh, it's, it's gonna work. work. <laughs> oh my God. Just give us the ladders back, we're stuck on the roof. Look, I've told you, I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. Uh, all right, fine, we'll fine. just call the police. Yeah, we'll call. We'll, we'll just call the police. It's fine. fine. <laughs> Just let me know when they're here. I mean, they they can't really let you know because they're stuck on the roof and, and, and they can't get down. See, you know, these Karens just don't have a brain, I'm starting to think. I'm also starting to think that I was smarter than a Karen at like second grade or some like crazy shit like that. They really don't think. All right, then. Have fun. <laughs> ridiculous, man. Mate, you're my hero. What did she say? She was alright actually. Yeah. Just told her that I'll paint her ceiling next week and she was fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what her problem was. Mental that was. Damn, wh why are you painting for her? Like, I get it, like, be nice and shit, but no i don't get it actually i have no idea you know maybe i'm just sitting here like filled with rage and 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 maybe i should give our karen sister a chance here but i don't know i just don't like the way she was talking to my dogs it just doesn't run by well with me absolutely ridiculous you think that i'm gonna sit here and allow you to discriminate against me and not say something and not get loud about it shut the fuck all right what's up people how y'all doing today hope you're all doing well so apparently there's a bunch of karen videos flooding the internet right now which isn't surprising it happens just about every year by this point but yeah you know what time it is i'm gonna be checking out those karen videos we're gonna be looking at them together hopefully there's some instant karma involved those are always great to see you know karen's getting what they deserve for bitching in public i'm gonna keep it real i've only seen like one or two karens in public ever in my entire life i believe i saw one time one of them on a plane and she was complaining and complaining i believe she held 
held up the flight by like 20 minutes or something like that. I was pissed. But yeah, we're going to take a look at these Karens. Before we do that, though, make sure to go follow my Instagram. I got a ton of posts on there. I said it the last three videos. I'm promoting the fuck out of this, okay? Go follow. And make sure to go uh, comment on my recent post that I look handsome. It's, it's validating. Okay, looks like this Karen just straight up bumped into a car. This person who got hit recording, I think. I'm not sure. What are you doing? <laughs> you fucking broken s Get the fuck You're the one who hit her car. Talk. You're the I one who hit her car, Karen. What, what, you what you talking done? about? You know when somebody's guilty, when they just straight up start insulting you for absolutely no reason, when they're the one who's at fault. That's how, that's what made it really obvious for me. She just started calling her a bunch of names and stuff like that when she's just trying to know what's going on. I'm sure she's recording just to make sure like, you know, if cops like just tell her that she has no evidence, then that's like what she can, uh, Show, whatever. Let's just keep watching. What have you done? Can you I have your me? license? Money, you just reversed into me. I have a um, sorry. You are, it obviously just showed that you, you, you straight up hit her car, car, lady. What, sweetheart? The media doesn't care about you. I'm not talking to the media. Nobody, nobody's asked. Talk about the media, girl. All right, she's backing up now. Let's see what happens. She leaves. She's leaving. She's dipping. So it's just straight up a hit and run, I guess? Okay, no, she's stalking now. Did you see that? Mania. Yeah, yeah. So get the fuck out of camera because there are a lot of us. Damn. Mania. Mean as hell. Oh, shit. Oh, so oh fuck. Sorry, God damn. That's I'm karma so right sorry. there, bro. You Look at that. She's idiot. stuck. She's you stuck. Oh my god, bro. No, no. I think that's the best instant karma I've seen from a Karen video in a minute, bro. She's, dude, she's gonna have to pay probably like $10,000 plus, I would assume. That's, that's two cars that are damaged right there. Two of them, not just one. And it's all because this Karen decided to walk away and not just like own up to her actions, bro. That's karma working to its best ability, bro. It's so funny how she thought that she could just get away with it, even with the person recording her. Cause like, even if she weren't to hit the car at the second time, then she still would have gotten caught because she got her license plate in the beginning of the video obviously so i don't know what she was thinking really so i'm literally shaking right now because i came to a restaurant y'all remember what i said yesterday about removing the word literally from my vocabulary unless at this time where it should actually be used this is a perfect example bro you can just say you're shaking i'm literally shaking right you don't gotta say literally obviously i'm not gonna nitpick about it but i figured i'd let y'all know like an example of what i'm talking about to shoot content and they just discriminated against me and told me that I'm not allowed to sit down and eat food because I don't have a vaccine card. And I'm just beside myself at the fact that these people right here can say that it's not discrimination. What do you call that? All right, listen, 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 listen. I hate the fact that she brought up COVID and vaccination and shit like that because I don't even really like talking about it. It's so fucking stupid. And I'm not gonna give my opinion for long about this, but vaccine cards, I think they're stupid as fuck, bro. I think they're really dumb. I can understand her frustration, but I'm just gonna say right now, what what good is it to do to bitch about it in front of the coworkers? What what are you gonna solve? Are you gonna make them, you know, cause I was gonna go to a concert last month, but I didn't have my vaccine card and I've been vaccinated, uh, but I don't know why I didn't get it. Who knows? Maybe they injected me with like heroin or something like that. I don't know. But point is, uh, like I wasn't able to get in. And guess what? I drove home and I accepted it because I didn't even know that I had to have that before I pulled up, but it was obvious. It was on the website, so that was that was stupid on my end. I'm not gonna sit here and shift the blame over to the people who like own the bitch because I, I can't control shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this girl is doing nothing. So yeah, I still think she's stupid, but I, I get the frustration. You're trying to do your job. Everybody's trying to do their job. Do you understand what happened in the 1940s in Nazi Germany? Whoa, whoa, yeah, lady. Now you're just like brain dead. You're really comparing this to the World War II? Oh my God. Like how stupid do you have to be? How out of touch do you have to be? Bro, imagine if she told her grandparents that. Her grandparents probably would have slapped her in the face. Grandparents would have been like, nah, you don't know what's up. You don't know how we got down back then. Bro, they were killing people by the millions back then. What does this have to do with this? When people had to pull out cards there? It's discrimination. Yeah, get a manager because I'm I have a large following on my account and I'm putting this place on blast. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, lady, uh baby girl, but I have no idea who the fuck you are. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. 
absolutely ridiculous. You think that I'm going to sit here and allow you to discriminate against me and not say something and not get loud about it? Bruh, they're not even like forcing you to wear masks, dog. They just said they need a vaccination card. And yeah, I think it's not like the smartest idea, but I'm not going to sit here and complain about it like you are. That's an L on your end. And you're just doing your job? Unbelievable. Everybody's just doing their job. Nobody has balls. I mean, uh... Pfft. If we're thinking uh, literally, then ma'am, neither do you. You have uh, a vagina. I'm not going to step outside. I'm waiting for the manager. Hey, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We got to wait for the manager. This is a certified Karen. And honestly, you know, I thought the whole like, let me talk to the manager thing got old for a little bit, but she just revived it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's back. Karens are in full force in the United States of America. It's almost summertime. They're going to be going crazy in the summertime. Good. Bring the manager. This is absolutely ridiculous. Hey, Karen, I'm sorry to, to uh, bring this to your attention, but you are the only one that is being ridiculous in this scenario. I, I really do hate to admit that, but uh, maybe you should go home. Maybe even do some research on how to like f uh, fix anger issues. I feel like that's probably going to be a little bit beneficial for you. Maybe do some research on uh, how to kill your ego as well, because obviously you think that people know who you are when probably nobody in my audience knows who you are. I have no idea where you came from. You're a Karen, so I mean, I don't really like you either. And obviously you think you're important, but that's also not the case. So hate to break it to you. And then to say that it's not discrimination is absolutely more ridiculous. You know what type of discrimination exists in America, lady? Like, do you know how many hate crimes are committed right now? And you're over here comparing this to the Holocaust? I'm literally shaking right now, so I came out- Okay, so she says I'm literally shaking again. Uh, funny thing is, if you look at this video, you don't see the camera shaking at all. She's just fucking retarded. Because I wanted to shoot some content for one god, and I came here to have some lunch and then I was going to shoot some content. I was told that this type of place was open. This is the first time that I've been discriminated against since they started this jab card thing. And I don't go out into public because of it. And I came in here and they told me that I can't sit down and I can't have lunch because I don't have a vaccine card. Are you freaking kidding me? Unbelievable. And everybody just sits here and has nothing to say. Bunch of freaking weaklings. I don't think this lady realizes how much she sounds like a fucking middle schooler right now. Are you freaking kidding me? Why are you all and a bunch of freaking weaklings? Like, really? Really? You, like, you're just embarrassing yourself by this point. Nazis! Nazis! Sheep! Losers! POV, you take your diehard conservative dad to, uh, dinner- Nazis! Nazis! Sheep! Loser! POV, you're the emo kid in high school. Nazis! Nazis! Sheep! Loser! Alright, alright. <laughs> you good? Call the police, please! I'm waiting! Unfortunately, the phone's not working. Oh, the phone? You want me to call him? Yes, please call the cops on yourself. That will be the funniest thing I react to in a minute. A Karen calling the cops on herself? We've seen a Karen call 911 on kids. We've also seen Karen call 911 on cops themselves. Dog, if you call the cops on yourself, hey, that'd probably be like a million view video for me. Please do that. Yeah. You want me to call him? Yeah. Cause I will. Go ahead. Give me my money back. Now. I'm not gonna deal with a belligerent I, customer. I am not belligerent. You are. You are just fucking respectful, dude. I did not disrespect you. Oh, you didn't? No. You, di you didn't? No. You didn't. So when I pick up a dollar motherfucking item and you want to throw it at me? I did not And throw tell it. me that you have bull, motherfucking bullshit. I put it back. No, 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 no. This is what you did. I'm gonna show you what you did, homeboy. Hey, if y'all want a part two for this, like and uh, comment that you want a part two. I think if we get to 10,000 likes on this, I'll do a part two for this one. I need you to get up. Yeah. Okay. You need me to get up? All right, what's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well today. So today we're taking a look at some more Karens. Okay, it's been a while. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments saying, hey, yo, Poncho, a new pack of Karens just dropped. Hey, Poncho, go check this out. Uh, okay, I will. For those that have seen this series already, you know how this works. We're just going to be taking a look at all the Karens that have made it to the top results. The worst of the worst, I guess you could say. And for those who don't even know what Karen means, basically, it's a middle-aged woman who is mad at the world. That's... 
I guess my best way of describing it. I, I really don't know how else to describe it. It's just kind of a title we've placed on middle-aged women who go in public and ruin everybody else's day. If you got TikTok or Instagram installed, you you basically already know this. This is what you see on a daily basis on your on your feed. But yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at this. Hello. We're, we're gonna take you off the aircraft. You yep, you're gonna have to get off the aircraft, yeah, okay? Yeah, and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. <laughs> okay, all right, starting off, uh, she's drunk, bro. God damn, she is sauced. Look at her, look at her. Can't even form a sentence. A cop walks up to you to remove you from the aircraft, and this is your response. The aircraft, yeah, okay? and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. Yeah, and, uh, uh, bitch, nah, you out of here. <laughs> She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're gonna have to get After off the aircraft. After they made us wait and wait and wait. Yep, that's I mean, love, have you ever been to an airport before? They, you kind of wait the entire time. You wait more than you're on the flight. Wait, I worded that wrong. Basically, what I was trying to say is that you're waiting a long time. I don't think you're waiting more than you're actually on the flight. Sometimes you are actually, but if you've ever under, if you've ever been to an airport before, you know you gotta find your gate. Okay, now nah, you gotta walk through TSA first. You gotta find your gate, and by that point, you still got like an hour and a half left, depending on how early you arrive. Does she has she never been to one before? Like, dog, I've been waiting like three hours at an airport before. Sometimes even longer. Longer. They're not fun, but you got to deal with them. That doesn't give you like justification to just be a dick on the plane. Everybody's kind of in the same boat as you. Everybody's waiting. So, I mean, you you don't stand alone here. It's the way it is, but right now I'm And that's you. fine, and I will respect that. Okay. Uh, well, then get off the plane. <laughs> it, it's not that complicated. So I'm going to need you to grab your bag and just And I did not do aircraft. anything, actually. Disrespect. We'll talk about Disres it outside. Disruptive besides speak my mind. Okay. And you know what? I live in America. That's what fucking America's right, about. Calm down. No, you know Listen that. To me. Grab no, your bag. You know that. You know that. Give me another unit on the plane, please. If you really, if you are ever gonna put hands on Grab me. Grab your bag. She's got like the mannerisms of like crazy frog. <laughs> Bro, if I was getting onto my flight and I saw this woman just like completely acting like a fool, I would be pissed, bro. I mean, at least she's getting kicked off the flight, but imagine if she wasn't. You'd have to deal with her just bullshitting the entire flight. Nah, I am not trying to do that. I'm trying to sleep on my flight. That is all I'm trying to do. A few days ago, I was actually on a flight and this baby behind me would not shut up. Bro, it would just keep on crying. And obviously, you know, it's a baby. I can't, I can't do anything about that. But it was like that obnoxious cry, bro. Like this baby was obviously faking it. I'd like to make a case against the baby. No, I'm gonna sit here and say that too. Listen, no one's gonna put their hands on you. Alright, yeah, yeah, you won't. Yeah, yeah, you won't. Okay, but I need you to get up. No. Okay. You need me to get up? You may need me to get up, but you know what I feel my need to do as a person? <laughs> Bro, look at the people around her. They are not they're not happy. Just like Jesus motherfucking Christ. You need to call. No, her. no. I'm gonna do call what I need to do. I'm gonna say what I need to do. And if you you're gonna do whatever you feel you need okay. to do to me, right? right? So I'm gonna say what I am meant to say. Yes, yes. No. Is she like a fucking preacher? Bitch, get out of the plane. Nobody nobody wants to hear what you have to say. Only you do. You are drunk. D-R-U-N-K. You are drunk. Hello, it is. It is me, Preacher Karen. Uh, I must, uh, I was sent here by God, and I must tell you what I have to say. To everybody. Stand up, man. Yeah, everybody is You're doing this. You're gonna get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already gonna get arrested. You're gonna get arrested if you don't stand up and get off the I'm aircraft. I'm probably already gonna get arrested. If you want to get arrested, I really, then honestly, stand up and get off the aircraft. That's all you I have really, to do. I really, it's not about that, man. What's it about? Lady, okay. I, I, honestly, I'm not even gonna be mad about it anymore. This is just entertainment by this point. Honestly, if I was on the plane, I I'd be recording this and it'd be content for the channel. I, I'd, I'd have stuff for y'all. Okay. You can I'm going to ask you one more time and then I'm going to have to put my but, hands on you. Uh, see, what this lady's not understanding because she's just fucking plastered is that she could stand up and get out of the plane and not have to deal with any problems, but she's just completely taking this to another level for no reason. Uh, probably just because she's drunk. Probably because she thinks she can do like whatever she wants because she's sauced up. A lot of different reasons. But now that she's taking it to this level, I don't know. Like she could be serving like a few weeks in jail. I don't even know, bro. Like I definitely want to look into the article or after this if, it, if they made it in an article because this video completely blew up, okay? Maybe next time you hit the airport, you should, uh... Avoid the airport bars. Okay. For what reason? Because you're not no, listening. Let me ask you that. Uh, you, you're gonna put. No, no, no. Fly. 
We're and that's fine, that's flight. fine. Why do you have a right to put your hands on me though? Hey, let's go, bro. bro, why does like everybody use this again? Like obviously, you know, I'm not for, uh, you know, police having to do what they have to do. I, that fucking sucks, especially as a police officer, bro. If I was a cop, I wouldn't want to have to do that. But you know, at, at some point, it's kind of necessary if you're not budging, you know, if you're resisting, I suppose. And, you know, there's obviously bad cops out there that will just, like, completely take it to another level for no fucking reason. And I'm not supporting that at all, you know. I feel like you guys know what I'm trying to say. But, like, I, I don't know, bro. She's just bugging. No, gotcha. why do you have a right to put your hands on me? Ma'am. What am I no. doing that makes you feel like you have a right to put your hands on me? Seriously, though, plan. can you tell me yeah. that? Tell me can you just help me to understand as a, as a human that is alive why why do you seriously though yep. Get like, seriously why can you just tell me that like i'm actually asking you as a jesus christ bro she is she's about to cry bro i'd be recording this if i was on the plane i'm just saying at this Listen. point here's what's happening they're gonna deplane the aircraft i'm gonna take you off the that plane was already happening Don't and you're going to jail just so no, you that know. That's already happening. It, it won't happen if okay. you get up and walk out with me right now. Yeah. But if you're not going to, just yeah. that. right now they're going to deplane. Oh, as soon as they deplane, you're going to jail, okay? <laughs> if you do not get up. That's how it's going to work. Do you see how that's a threatening system? That's the way it that's is, man. That's not cool. Are I want to trust you. You want to trust me? That's not healing. Bro, these ain't like flight attendants you're dealing with lady you're dealing with the fucking cops like I, do you know who you're talking to bro it's like she's completely like unaware of the fact that these people can like ruin her fucking life bro i, I don't know i'm not playing with cops when i gotta deal with them like if i if i i've gotten pulled over in the past and immediately right when i get pulled over my wallet is on my steering wheel and so is like my phone and shit i, I just don't want to fuck around you know i'm scared of them low-key like i do not want to mess around with cops we're not healing Okay, get off That's the door. Come on. Get off the plane. Can I trust you to not? Plane? Bro, she's over here talking about spirituality and healing. Bro, you are getting arrested. Now is not the time. Let's go. Yeah, off the plane. Grab your stuff. Grab your stuff. Are get you off gonna, the aircraft. Can I trust you? Right, Listen, have I touched you yet? Yeah, I'm trying to get you off the aircraft. That's right, all we're trying to do. To a control situation. If I get off the plane, no. you said you wouldn't arrest me. So you as a we're, cop should have to honor that. Well, see, dumb lady, the thing you're not understanding is that they have tried for like what like well how long have we watched this video y'all like the last like five minutes they've been trying to just get you off the plane but you've been budging like nah it ain't gonna work like that to be honest i don't know how they haven't like completely just grabbed her and take taken her off the plane obviously that's not what i want to see but you know cops bro they're they're pretty brutal sometimes yeah. right no like you should though you should have to honor that that's my right don't talk to the cops and tell them we need to remove no, her it really is though that's my right it's like you need to no Sit. we're getting to the point where you're not expect you're not respecting my human rights Let's as go. a cop I, I spoke too soon god damn it bro oh, god. that's not cool i didn't do anything that did anything to I mean, the cops were called on the plane for a reason, lady. You, you were probably, like, causing a complete scene with, like, some person across the aisle from you. I don't know. I really don't know what happened to, uh, you know, cause this shit to happen. But it's probably justified. You know, cops aren't really ever called on, on planes. I've never seen a cop on my plane. Uh, so if they're on one, it means somebody's doing some bullshit. No, man. That's not okay, dude. That's not okay. You know it. 29 Central you know Texas. Hey, you see Gramps over here? He's just trying to go to Florida. You gotta get off the plane. Why did you have one? Can I just see you at 0745? Can you register your power? 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 Wow, what a what an amazing sight. I, I'd be pissed if I was on that plane. That probably delayed like the flight by 40 minutes or some shit. Anyways, regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to go follow my Spotify playlist if you haven't already. I got a, a ton of new songs on there that I updated yesterday. So make sure to go check that out. Link is going to be in the description. And yeah, y'all, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. Yeah!